Hello everyone, so today's shave we're going to take another one off the board. This time around is gonna be from Spain, Jabones de Cosé Serra. That's what we're gonna try today and in particular Helix. Now I chose this soap just because of the, the label, uh, looks like Asian Greece or something like that. Very curious, I heard good things about it. So I wanna see what we're gonna have inside. Before I forget, let's take it off the board, I always forget it. Let's look for jabones, los jabones de Jose, there we go, los jabones de Jose, whoa, de Jose Seja there, you gonna take it off the board, there we go, now we took another one, I'll just put this so this doesn't fall, so there we go, taken off the board, to go with today, I wanna go back to Simpson Trafalgar T3, C uh, synthetic, you guys know I love this one, almost anyone that has it lo likes it. And back to another one that I always advise for beginners, the Gissen and Forst Hoff Zero Waste Three-Piece Razor. Cheap stainless steel handle, although it's a smaller one, but they have a bigger one I found out the other day. Uh, they have a, a, a bigger one, not chunkier, but bigger one. But I really enjoy this one, so that's what we're gonna use. Blade-wise, I'm gonna go back to the stack of the used only once and see what comes up. I don't know what it is. Marker. It's a marker blade. So that's what you're gonna use. Actually, you know what? Let's load up the, the blade straight away. There you go, load it up, let's put it back there. You guys know this one has no overhanging, so great. And let's soak up the brush. Here we go, Simpson Trafalgar T3. No, the brush is there soaking, so let's open up and see what scent we're working with. There we go, Kilix. Los Jabones de Rosé Serra. I have to say this is very woodsy very woodsy not intense yeah very very woodsy hopefully now when i leather some something else comes up this is very woodsy about a four on the puck in terms of intensity not high intensity yeah hmm i'm gonna put the lid there on the back i was actually not expecting that wood don't know what to expect actually well let's go let's load up the brush and see what we're working with There you go, just washed it up. Let's put it there, drying on the back. I have to say the scent intensified a bit more. It's almost to a six. And there's a hint there. I don't know if it's floral. I don't know. Let's see, let's leather up and see what it comes, but it's still very, very woodsy, I have to say. And pretty slick, I felt it on my hand. So let's see the protection afterwards. Let's leather up. There you go, leathered up, leathers up really, really quick, I have to say. And I didn't need that much water to make a really nice leather. So let's go get the razor and start to shave and see how it performs with this leather. Pretty slick, I have to say. Pretty, pretty slick. Ooh, ooh, nice. It actually feels like it's soothing the skin already. Good stuff, really good stuff. I love this, I love this feeling. Protection wise, pretty good as well. So let's keep going. Really nice slickness and protection on this leather, I have to say. Really, really nice. There we go, first pass is done. Still feel like it's suiting the skin already. I love this feeling, love this feeling. Let's go, let's get ready for the second pass. There we go, dry my hands there. Now, back to the brush. And I'm gonna say, I forgot to talk about the scent. It's still very woodsy, it's about a six. So it's not very intense, but it's not subdued either. It's just there. I feel that there's some other stuff there, but the main thing is wood. I don't know if it's kind of a floral or spicy, um, but that's what I feel. I feel that it's on the background, something either floral or spicy. I'm not completely sure, but the main, main thing for me is wood. You feel a lot of wood here, uh, which wood, I don't 
don't know, it might be a few of them actually, because that's the main, main scent you feel, I feel at the moment anyway. So let's go, second pass. There we go, ready for second pass. I just painted a bit there, but it's still kind of forming actually. And you guys can see, leather is really, really nice. Pretty shiny, pretty, pretty slick, I have to say. Let's go, second pass across. Gorgeous, lovely. There we go, second pass is done. This leather, this slickness is really good. Plenty of protection there. There's a lot of post slickness as well, which is excellent. I don't think I miss any spot. Yeah, actually, oh, actually there's a small bit there. There you go. And you guys can see, still loads of slickness there. No bother, that's it. Yeah, that's it, we're done. This scent is not a very intense scent, very woodsy, definitely there's something there on the background. I, I have a feeling it's either spicy or floral, but it's very subdued on the background. The scent is not very intense, so if you don't like intense scents, this is perfect, but it's very, um, it's manly and, and um, I don't wanna call it sensual. Yeah, kind of that way, you know what I mean? It's just a, a medium uh, 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 intensity there, but it's a, uh, Sexy scent, manly scent, but sexy. Not that manly scent in your face, you know what I mean? It's really hard to explain what I'm trying to, to, to say here. Uh, it's just like, it's manly, but more on the sensual side of it, I would say. Very, very, very woodsy. So let's go, let's see what we have left on the brush. There we go. Now, let's see what we have left on the brush. Yeah, this leather is gorgeous. It's one of those that sinks into the skin and is soothing at the same time, so lovely. Just lovely. Yeah, I still had enough there for a few passes. It's very, very shiny as well. Lovely job. So let's go, let's take this out and then I'll go for our normal witch hazel. Let's go. There we go. Now just pat my face there before we go for the witch hazel. Now, witch hazel. There we go. Now, small bit of feedback, but almost nothing there. Almost nothing. Great shave today. Really quick, because the leather was really quick making, which is excellent for me, and it's soothing the skin. And now I put the witch hazel, and it's still plenty of slickness there. And the skin is just feeling gorgeous, I have to say. So that's it. We're gonna wash all my stuff, and I see you back for the post shave. See you in a bit. We're back. So for the post shave, we're gonna go to the rest of the set. Kilix by Los Hab Bones de Jose Serra. That's what we're gonna use. Yeah, there's some oils there I can see, so let's shake it. There we go. And as you guys can see, it's still sealed. So let's open it up now. Wow. Yeah, this, this scent is gorgeous. Splash is just phenomenal. Yeah, it's more intense. Give it about a seven there, a bit more. Still very woodsy. Definitely there's some kind of floral there on the back. And I don't know if it's not the two things, the floral and the spicy. Yeah, it's actually giving me a bit of freshness there as well. Wow, really sensual. Yeah, I'm gonna repeat. Sensual, manly, manly scent. Very woodsy, but it's gorgeous, yeah. Definitely, the splash just takes it to another level. Wow, love this scent, I have to say. Very, very woodsy. There's definitely some floral there. I don't know if you put anything. No, just the ingredients. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. Yeah, pretty, pretty nice, like. Yeah, and there's some oils there that are sinking into the skin and I'm feeling it there, soothing the skin now. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's recap the shave, this excellent shave. We shaved with the Kissen and first half Timor razor, zero waste. I, I just love this razor. This, you can shave with this blindfolded. And uh, it's n one of the ones that I normally uh, advise for uh, beginners. I just love this razor. And then we used one of the blades from the, the stack that I only used once. And this time around was the marker blade. It's a easy, simple, pretty sharp. So that's what we used as razors and blades. The, <laughs> the brush is a Simpson Trafalgar T3. I don't think I need to repeat myself for the price is one of the best synthetics you can get it's just excellent excellent 
And then the soap, very woody scent on the soap. The, when I opened it up was very subdued, the scent, but uh, then you, as soon as you add some water and you let it up, it kind of intensifies a small bit. I have something in my eye there, guys. Ooh, there we go. It, it kind of intensifies a, a, a bit. It's very woody. I thought there was something floral or spicy on, on the back of it, but it's very, very on the back. But uh, the leather wise, leathered really really quick i added a bit more water didn't break at all you could add more water and I, plenty of slickness soothes the skin which is one of the things that i love <laughs> and that makes it special for me i know some guys are going to ask about the density it's dense it's not the most dense but it's pretty dense it's not light at all let's put it that way uh, but it's not the most dense but a uh, slickness soothiness of the skin excellent and protection as well yeah, the scent is kind of more subdued, but it's, uh, for me, it's still kind of a sensual, manly scent. Very, very woodsy. And now, for me, this one was special, the splash. The splash just put the scent up there. You feel a bit more on the background that floral that I was talking about. I actually think there's some kind of spice there on the back as well. I'm not sure about the spice, but definitely there's some floral there. The intensity went up and the scent is just whew, very sexy, very sensual, woodsy scent. I love this splash I have to say loved it for me the winner on this is definitely the splash the leather is excellent everything but the scent on this splash is just perfect so that was it that was our shave for today we took another one off the board Jose Serra Los Jabones de Jose Serra Kilix this time around there's another one coming from it I don't know when in a few videos wait for it so if you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to put a like on it really helps the channel and it's free guys it just pushes the video on the algorithm so if you want to help just put a like and if you want to help even more there's my affiliate links down below I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao.